Tablina and I first met over 40 years ago, and not long thereafter, we began working together when Peblita joined the staff of then Congressman Ben Knight Horse Campbell, and I was working for the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. The experience of meeting Pablita was one of love at first sight. There was just something about Pablita that made you feel warm and cozy and cared for. And the light that always surrounded her was almost too bright to behold at first encounter. In the months and years that followed, we worked together on a whole range of legislation before the one that became the most significant in our lives, the legislation to establish the National Museum of the American Indian. To my recollection, that was about the time that Pablita and Senator Inouye first met, and the senator seemed to have the same reaction, one of love at first sight. Their energies were a match for one another, their rel relationship seemed destined to be a long one, and it was. We laughed together over many birthdays, luncheons, celebrating Pablita's birthdays. Laughed because she could never recall how old she really was, and laughed because we didn't really care which of her birthdays we were celebrating. We were just happy to be in one another's company. As you might expect, Pablita made gifts of her beautiful sculptures to the senator. And before long, his Capitol office became an exhibition of Pablita's exceptional talent. We went through some difficult times in the process of negotiating the agreement that made the establishment of the National Mu Museum of the American Indian possible. Some days felt like the winds of destiny were carrying us inexorably forward, and other days were dark and worrisome. And it was on those days that Senator Inoue and David Rockefeller would be the beacon of hope, always keeping their eyes on the goal, never flagging in their commitment to make it happen, and relentlessly encouraging everyone that the National Museum of the American Indian would become a reality. And as you know, it did. As Frank Ducheneau recently observed, Pablita and Senator Campbell and the House Committee were responsible for the inclusion of the repatriation provisions in the NMAI legislation, battles hard fought but patiently waged, controversy that was brought to rest on what almost everyone knew was the right and just outcome. And the inclusion of tribal museums in the legislation spearheaded by then Congressman Tom Udall. Several weeks before the opening of the museum, Senator Inouye had a dream that he shared with Pablita and me. In his dream, it was the night before the museum opened, and Pablita had arranged to have a private evening tour of the museum. He described to us the sounds he heard in his dream, the sound of our heels click, click, clicking on the marble floors, echoing up into the vast heights of the ceiling and throughout the museum's hall. Pablita quietly set about to make that dream come true. I'll never know how she and Rick West managed to make that happen, but happen it did, and I'll always remember how very special, how very blessed we felt that evening to have been the small instruments of a very big dream that had been held by thousands, more likely millions, of Native people who had held that vision in their hearts and in their minds for generations. Pablita was and always will be the personification of the mother spirit that welcomes all those who have found a home in the home we know as the National Museum of the American Indian. And I will always see Pablita in the column of rainbow light that the NMAI prism ref reflects on her shining beam. <laughs>